I think we still do it, even though if this is going to affect Azazel. No, no, that doesn't make sense. We'll just armor break him. And next turn, we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, he's dead. We don't have a next turn. We're too good for that. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to play some more Hadean Tactics. I have been enjoying this game so much, I think you guys have been enjoying watching the Let's Play series, so uh, I just wanted to jump on in and see if we can get higher and higher, because last episode we actually were able to beat Corruption 2, so uh, we're hoping to potentially beat Corruption 3 here, uh, which is going to add two curses to our starting deck, which um, is, well, we'll have to see how impactful that is, how much harder it makes the game. Um, honestly, I, I think off the bat, I just really like the random relic. Sometimes you can get something that's really, really good. Uh, re receive a 30% discount on everything at the shop, which honestly isn't the worst thing to get here at the beginning. Um, so we just got to figure out what we want our main guy to do. Um, honestly, I kind of want to go an assassin build here. Especially with the all allies gain one perfect strike uh, at the beginning of each turn is is pretty good. Even you know it allows you to do clone stuff. It allows you to do um, you know just some crazy assassin stuff. And I guess there is a go a gold blend already. Um, so these are the curses. They cost 99 energy. What if I had enough energy to do it? Hey, you don't know. Uh, we're gonna do a cross slide here. Just do an insane amount of damage there. Um, and we're just gonna give him might, and we're gonna give him some shield, and that's ultimately what's gonna do. I don't, actually, we might kill this guy before we kill the, uh, oh, okay, no, he's, oh, he was attacking the goldlins. We were not able to kill the goldlin, unfortunately. So we'll just give him shield, confirm. Not a very hard, uh, you know, obviously these first couple fights aren't the hardest, but, um, okay. Select two units to swap tiles, that's pretty good. Um, pretty situation though. Inflict two fracture for five seconds to all enemies. It's a rare. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and take that. It's just so universally good, no matter what we kind of do. Um, okay, we're gonna cross slide and, or not cross slide, we're gonna shield. Well, dagger, dagger, and honestly just, oh, there. <laughs> I always forget that those assassins are, are like, I keep calling them assassins, I'm sorry. Uh, the Stalker Alliance, those those are Stalker Alliances as well. So we'll Shredder, Fracture them, we'll give our main guy some shield, because I don't care about our other guy uh, losing health, because we're probably going to replace these units real early on. One of the first things I try to do, quite honestly. And the boss we're going to be facing... Summons the vi- okay, it's the Viper's one. Um, for three seconds all attacks knock back and stun. I don't- I don't know, gaining the shield and spikes could be good. I think we'll take that, I still don't really know what we're going on. What kind of build we're going for, but... Um, 115 shield, 40 spikes. Let's get this Fracture, let's upgrade that Fracture here. The, the Shredder that gives Fracture. You stumble upon a hidden sacrificial circle, a statue of the sleeper rising in front of you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Set a random ally's health to one. Obtain a random relic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Our main guy got to one HP. Um, it's okay, though. Whenever a talent card is played, all allies gain 25 mana. That is, that is really good. Okay, so the question is, though, how many... What are the... How do I look at my deck again? How, do I, how did I already forget how to look at my deck? Am I not? Oh, okay. I clicked that. <laughs> so it's talents. Okay. So things like we have no talents actually. So this effectively does nothing for us right now. But we want to stay on the lookout here for some talents. Um, we're going to draft a unit here. Uh, ten shield and ten might every time we draw three cards. Gives all allies haste. So this is kind of a ranged person. This is a non-ranged person. I think we could go ranged. I think we maybe go range and go a little bit of the, sh like, drawing card type stuff. Um, we just got to uh, survive this this thing, and he's going to jump in, so I need to give him a ton of shield. Um, going to do a ton of damage that way. We'll have these guys distract that. And we just got to, yeah, not have this guy die, which should be fine. I mean, we put a lot of shield on him. 
and this guy's distracting these other people. And we definitely want to be on the lookout for um, talents. Because getting all allies gaining 25 mana per turn is, is kind of insane, honestly. Um, yeah, we'll just actually kill... The oh, this guy's going to die. Maybe. Our main guy died. We're gonna we're gonna win the combat. It's okay, but <laughs> I don't know. Those curses are definitely annoying. I'm definitely gonna want to try to get them out of my deck here, because um, I think I can. Right? There's nothing. Yeah, unplayable. No talents. Uh, deal a hundred random to a random enemy unit. Draw a card though. Um. Because the thing is, is with... Oh, I didn't even... I'm so stupid. I didn't even put in my Golden Warg here. I'm, I'm so, I don't know how you guys watch me. I must be like the most frustrating person to uh, to watch. But um, ideally, because of that, we're going to be wanting to draw a ton of cards. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, prayer. Pick up some prayer. Um, I don't. I don't want any burdens, honestly. I mean, I'll get... No, I don't want any burdens. No siree. Not for me. Um, so this guy's ranged. Uh, they're going to jump. So I don't know who jumps first. Do I jump first or do they jump first? Either way, um, we're going to want to give this guy some health. Because I want him to jump on this. One jumped and we distracted the other here. Which our guy may still actually die here. Um, deal 100 damage to a random unit. We just yeah we can just kill both of that. That way this guy's not taking any damage. He can jump over here, which he still actually died. How did he die? Oh, throws a knife targeted at its lowest health enemy. Yeah, that that would be um would do that. So I want to maybe get a bunch of sent sentinels. I've never really tried tried that build because it seems like it could be really really good. Um, no talents. Remove all enchant and flicks. I don't want any of those. Okay, merchant. Everything's a little bit cheaper. They're not selling any talents here. Um, ooh, we could get a... A sentinel. Oh my gosh, the clone. Do we go clones? I think we go clones with the sentinel. Yeah, we just... We, we get that guy here. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna have two ranges. Really wish I hadn't gotten an assassin on this build. Um... I don't actually know if this is going to work the way we really want it to, but uh, either way, we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, every time you play an enchant card, Mystics gain 15 mana. Um, versus what is this? Ooh, whenever an ephemeral unit is created, the Overseer gains 5 damage for 2 seconds. I think I want it. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, we're fighting an elite here. Um... Our main guy is still not a lot of health. We're going to shred her, put some shields on this, and get this guy uh, back here. See, that's a problem. Like, I have two, like, ranged people, and I have no one to protect them. I don't, I don't know if I really know what I'm doing here. But hopefully, though, we draw a bunch of cards. You know, it'll, it'll help out here. So we're going to... Give this person spikes and stuff. Deal one damage, draw some cards. We're starting to get all these clones. Honestly, I think this is the type of run that um, it might make a ton of sense to... Like, when I finally beat the boss at the end of this run, um, and I get to pick, like, what special relic I want, I might want more units, honestly, because I could use a tanky... Um, Sentinel. So why does this have one and that has zero? I'm confused by that. But uh, no talents here still. Uh, we're going to just skip that. Lucky Stone. Every seven cards drawn, a random ally unit. Gains 150 might. Which, hey, that that's perfect uh, for what we're going for. We're going to fully heal everybody here. Um, we're going to upgrade. Let's see here. What is the difference here? More health or more DPS? Um, do we, I think we go a little bit more health and more mana regen because I need the health and I want the mana regen for, uh, 
you know, obviously making more clones. So I'm going to fracture them. We're going to 125 damage there. I, I probably should have fractured the wolf back here, but... So now we just got to work on the card draw, like more mana type stuff. Um, this guy's taking some damage. This guy's taking some damage. And we will might that. I mean, yeah, like once the clones start coming out, I mean, it's insane, honestly. Especially because the, the Golden Wargs, uh, you know, giving everybody the haste is nice. But either way, um, 100 damage. <laughs> Dead just like that. Okay, Fruit Fairy. At the start of each combat, a random ally unit gains 50 mana. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, ooh, Talent on the next turn gained 2 energy. That's exactly what we want. Because that's going to give the people more mana. That's going to let my clones go more. It's going to let them pop off more. I could heal my one guy a little bit, but... I think we're going to... Ooh, that prayer would be pretty good. Drawing two cards. Like, the, even though it's not the best card to do, it helps our synergy the most. Uh, with the um, Sentinel Alliance. Also, I think this may just be a visual bug, meaning that I can't. I don't. I don't know why. What those numbers are kind of meaning. Um, there's no cross slide we could do pretty well, so we're going to. This guy's gonna jump on. Let's have him jump on the snakes, honestly. Fracture and kind of keep it the way we've been keeping it. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna have to put a lot of shield on this guy here. I'm hoping you know us getting rid of the. Oh, 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 geez, our clone guy taking a lot of damage here. Um, so we're going to fracture, and we're going to give our main clone guy some more shield. I think we're definitely fine. Two damage. Um, Next turn. Yeah, give everybody that mana. Uh, and we'll just give this guy some more might. Yeah, I mean, oh wait, they all just died immediately. Why'd they all die immediately? I got like a bunch of clones and they all died like immediately. Either way, we, we beat it though. So. um, Ooh, area. Getting some AOE effects with our clones could be real good. I think we get that actually. And unit banner, we're going to... Honestly, I say let's let's see if we can get a good draft one here. Whenever an ally unit gains shield, gain 25 might to all allies, and it gives shield. I think we... When an ally unit is about to receive the final blow, the celestial unit will take the hit instead. Well, that's not good because that means... That means all my units, even though this isn't very good... Um, you know, it's only a common. I think I'm gonna do the extra party slot. Because yeah, we need we need a better tank here. You know what I mean? I mean, plus with the I mean just the 25 might to all allies is actually kind of huge and in, in like a clone-based build here. Um now the question is do we make this guy a little bit more of a I think we make this guy the relentless alliance as well there. So we have two relentless alliances. Um, I think that's the way to go here. So, we're going to give this guy armor. We'll let him t kind of tank this up. And give this guy some might so he's dealing damage that way. Because, yeah, gaining that might when you have all the people is really, really nice. And then I can just, like, give everyone in that area might. Um... I probably should have done the meditate here just to give everybody more mana, but I really don't want this guy taking a ton of damage, which he already is. I'd love to get that relic. I honestly that relic where you're like where you gain a bunch of um health at the end of each thing is pretty good. Oh, on the next turn, draw two cards as a talent. Yes, please. It's exactly what we want. Um this has got a two elites here, shop. Ooh, sacrifice, yeah. Let's Sacrifice these units I don't care about. It's awesome that you can sacrifice those starting ones. So we got the first card drawn after the end of your turn has its cost reduced by one. It's nice. Every time you play an artifice, draw a card. Um, do we even have any artifices? I don't think we do. 
There's so many. Oh, that cross slides one. That's it. So whenever we play cross slide, we draw a card, guys. Um, don't need to heal. Let's upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade that. That AoE effect thing, that card could be huge for us. Um, only way I do is... Oh! Another one of the Sentinel Alliance. The, I mean, the problem is, is we do need we do need a little bit more tanky. I... I, I do think so. Oh, Seed of Life. The thing I was literally talking about. Let's just get that, honestly. Let's get that and... Whenever a unit dies in this combat, gain one. We don't have that many clones. I mean, it would be good. No, I think we get that. I think we get that late game. Because it's it's helping our, our build, our synergy way too much here. So we'll upgrade. Um, every time an ally unit gains might, it deals 15 to a random enemy. 25 might, 20 shield. DPS. Whenever an ally unit gains might, it deals 15 damage to a random enemy. I think let, let's let's get that because we have a lot of enemies that are going to be gaining might with the clones potentially. So, um, draw two cards next turn, give everybody some mana. Uh, is there a cross slide we could do? We could do a real good cross slide right here, and we will deal 150 damage to someone. Draw some cards. Got a lot of mana coming up here. Should be pretty good. And I can be a little bit more risky now that uh, we have the Seed of Life. Man, we we destroyed that instantly. Uh, talent, yep, next turn gain two energy. We kind of just want to stack our deck with those types of things. Um, and there's all these priests. Um, so we'll pray, draw a bunch of cards. Any good cross slide we could do here? It's a pretty decent cross slide we could do there. Uh, meditate next turn. We're just gonna have next turn be a crazy good thing. This guy's gonna take a lot of damage here. He, he's probably actually gonna just die straight up. Oh, 75. Um, yeah, let's give him a little bit more. Fracture everybody. More shield on that. And we're gonna armor break this guy. He's probably still gonna die, but it bought us some time, I guess. Man, I'm telling the clone the clone builds are so freaking fun. Talent, I mean, especially when we can just give everybody like max mana. It's pretty freaking entertaining. Like, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, talent. Um, yep. I think we just keep going. That whenever an enemy unit dies, gain three gold. Not bad at all. Um, can't really afford anything useful here so actually oh no, no I need to be doing the remove a card thing completely forgot about that so let's see <laughs> next turn gain two energy next turn draw two cards draw two cards next turn so this guy's gonna die actually let's let's go ahead and replace him with you know funny enough ah uh, I don't know what we do here I think we actually like do something like this I think that way it takes a little bit of time for those guys to walk they instantly like tell got their clones though because we played those cards our guy did die like pretty immediately here and we drew a lot of cards here so i don't know we'll do the fracture we'll give some shield uh some armor break some killing of that person and we'll fling that guy back sure why not i mean <laughs> that's insane that's insane that's insane. That is insane. Looking good so far though, honestly. Um, oh, creates a clone. I'm very, very tempted to get that. And that's an artifice which draws us a card. Yeah, let's take that. Whenever an enemy unit dies, a random ally gains 25 damage for three seconds. I'll take it. I'm just gonna upgrade. We will upgrade every time someone gains might. So this is giving us more health on this. Yeah, we want more health on our main tank guy. Um, yeah, screw it, we'll rest. I don't think we needed to, but uh, we'll do it for this elite fight here since we don't wanna, we have a really good build. I don't wanna, you know. So I think we just make a clone 
of our clone guy off the bat. I think that's what we do. Um, I'm gonna give this guy a bunch of spikes because he's gonna be our main attack or tank here. Oh wow, I mean that, that armor we put on him like disappeared. He's gonna die. He's definitely going to die. Um, put some shield on him, put some shield on him. And we will armor break that. Our fracture. Just get everybody, all of the, oh it doesn't even matter, this guy's gonna be dead. Here I am trying to do my 10,000 IQ plays. Um, we could just get another armory, honestly. Pink diamond at the start of combat. All units gain 50 shield. That is, I will happily take that. Critical hits from allies deal 50% more damage. Nice, like to see it. Um, oh, we could get the clone. Skill clone itself. I think we buy that, honestly. Because we have our one guy, our main clone guy, the fact that he is in the Overseer Alliance. I think that's what we do. And we'll heal up here just to make sure we... We do good for our fight. Uh, and we will make our main tank even tankier. We will inflict, oh, I probably should have done thinking ahead, but it's okay. It's all good. Oh, this is an assassin. Azazel is a stalker. Hitting our clone guy. So area that would affect him. 150 damage draw card. I think we still do it, even though if this is going to affect Azazel. No, no, that doesn't make sense. We'll just armor break him, and next turn we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, he's dead. We don't have a next turn. We're too good for that. We're too good for that. Um, I don't think I want any of that. And you know what? You know what? Let's Let's get more units. Let's just get as many units as we can. Draft another. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Um, another party slot. So we have. Okay. This is this is literally like the clone build here. I mean, we have Sentinel, three Sentinel Alliance. We have um, this guy. We could probably turn into an Overseer Alliance. Um, what do we want to do? Three damage after doing that. Fifty shield. Yeah, I mean, let's make him more tanky, honestly. Our main guy more tanky. That's ultimately what we're kind of needing him for, so. Okay, we have so many people here. Talent, give them all, uh, you know. I mean, that's good, because, like, every time we play a talent card, all the allies gain 25, you know, mana. And when we have five freaking party members, that's insane. So, we're going to go ahead and tank up our main guy here. Um, we're going to have our two clones back there, just kind of being protected. These guys are gonna need some time to walk all the way over here. And by that time, we're just literally getting the army of clones. Oh my gosh. That's insane, just give them all that might. Okay, this is, I think this is like one of the most broken runs I've had. Oh, Bloodshot's so good. We're, we gotta take a Bloodshot, even though we have, we're starting to get a lot of these. Um. What is the ally only in any any unit? I'm trying to think of when you would want to clone an enemy unit. Um, but we'll yeah we'll upgrade that pet slime so we can play him without feeling bad because he d he originally costed three mana. Spend 25 gold upgrade a card. Spend 10 gold remove a card. Yeah, let's 10 gold to get one of these things out of here. Yes, please. Um, get some spiders that are gonna explode. We'll meditate, we'll shredder, and we'll prayer. All we're gonna do. I, you know what, I'm so confident, I don't even think, I think we're, we're gonna beat this. Oh, I was gonna say I thought we were gonna beat it in one turn, but. Oh, we did beat it in one turn. It didn't look like we were. I lost faith in myself, but uh, I should not have done that. Uh, upgrade, let's get, let's see. What does this do, get more health or more DPS here? This does give us more mana regen with the health. I was hoping one of them would give me another one of the Overseer Alliance. But we'll just we'll just do the more DPS one. Probably should have gone down the other path. 
um, now that I'm looking at it, but inflict, give our main tank guy some more shield, call it a day. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I honestly think this is the most, I, I mean, I, I'm just winning before, like, it, I, I'm winning so fast, the game's honestly, like, glitching a little bit, it, it seems like a little bit, like, visually, anyways, it does not know how to handle this. Um, because we're at the start, we can just do this. Give everybody all that 50 might, 50 shield. Um, Shadow Goblin. So we will, we'll do our normal, normal thing. I mean, these guys are just gonna immediately get destroyed. Man, having a lot of units, I underestimated how good having a lot of enemy units is, honestly. This is insane. This is insane. Okay. Thinking ahead, I mean, yeah, let's get another talent. Whenever a fracture is applied to an enemy unit, the amount being applied is doubled. That's pretty good. I mean, we got that nice fracture card in here, so. Uh, cram them all down here. Oh. Cram them all down. Get the buffing of all of that. Uh, next turn, draw two cards. It's a talent. This is, I mean, this guy, what I really, really want, what I really would like to see, which I see in a lot of other auto chess games, um, like what was that? It looked like we, we, we didn't have that, but then they just died. That's how broken this run is. Um, but I would love to see a, uh, DPS like tracker, like some, somewhere toggable, toggleable, like right here or something. Um, oh, you want to know what I just realized? I think I know why we're actually winning when it doesn't seem like it because we have, um, what did we have? We had a, a specific thing here that was like dealing damage when we did something I can't remember we had something here whether it was yeah I can't remember what it is I'm not gonna spend like a billion years looking for it but I'm pretty sure we had something that was like every time something gains uh, oh no the draconic lines that's what it is every time an ally unit gains might deal 15 to a random energy enemy so did you see yeah all of that might that we just got just dealt like so much damage might, it's gonna deal a lot of damage there. That's what it is. That's what, that's what's making this run so broken. Okay, um, crazy big golem guy, but we're not gonna have the mana for that. Whenever an ally unit dies, it explodes, dealing 200 damage. That's good with me, we got our clones. Upgrade. Um, every time we play enchant cards, Hmm, is it better to increase? I think, okay, no, it's just better to do that. Give more haste to all of our units when you have these clones here. Um, we're going to illusion that guy. We're gonna s give that guy some shield. Probably should have done it on the OG, but hey, this will let the clone stay alive longer than it normally should have. No, yeah, this is, this is easily one of the most broken runs we've had. 150 damage, draw some cards talent, more might, more might. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta, I can't sleep on the Draconic Alliance, honestly. That specific thing of every time an ally in a game might deal 15 damage, it seems so minuscule, but then like, in the grand scheme of things, honestly, just take another Meditate, screw it. Ooh, okay, this is just an easy bloodshot. Like, look how much damage it already did to all of the people, that's insane. Just having this many units, too. This is such a broken run. Just armory, all those people, prayer, meditate. Oh my gosh. Um, For two sec, no, I don't think I need any of the spice tea. At the start of every, each combat gain one energy. I love that. Every time you draw three spells on a single turn, inflict three flak fracture. Pretty good. And we're, we're nearing the end here, guys. We're in the home stretch. Of all that might, we'll do some fracture. Meditate for the energy on everybody. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just all, all the might. That's what's causing that, that kind of weird visual thing. Um... No, I don't need any of that. Whenever an ally unit's damaged by a card, it gains 75 might. Lifesteal. 
We don't even need everyone's at full health. So what do we what do we upgrade here? Bloodshot. Let's upgrade bloodshot. Uh, there's probably something better, but it doesn't matter. This is such a broken run. I, I I like. I don't even really need to like. I'm gonna just create a clone. I'm gonna thinking ahead. Doing that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna keep them in the back here just to give them some time to get all the mana. I mean, all of these clones are insane. We're gonna fracture everybody. We're gonna meditate. We're gonna thinking ahead. Doesn't even matter. Those cards like aren't crazy good. I'm just giving. I beat the boss in like what was that? Like one turn? Like 30 seconds? Oh my gosh! That I beat the final boss that fast, man. That was a broken run. 29 minutes, 45 seconds. We got a crazy powerful spell there. Wow, well, we beat Ascension level 3, guys. So I know that this is a little bit shorter uh, than my normal Let's Plays, but... Uh, I mean, we ended it cleanly. We did one run. We had the most broken run ever, and I, that, that, that that's that. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, that was the biggest power trip I have ever had in this game. Um, so that was honestly a ton of fun. Definitely going to be trying to ha do a lot more units in the future because uh, that was that was crazy awesome. So. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, then definitely consider liking and subscribing to see more of these Let's Plays. Um, and if you haven't seen the review of this game uh, yet, which you probably have, um, but if you haven't seen it, check that out. Uh, and also, I uh, got a shill. Um, if you are wanting to get Hadean Tactics on Steam, uh, then definitely check the top link in the description uh, for my official game store, Nexus.gg, uh, where you can get the game, get a Steam key for it, and it'll actually help support the channel as well. Uh, so definitely check the top link in the description if you're wanting to pick up this game. Um, but either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel in every way you do. Just watching, commenting, whatever you guys are doing. Uh, it just means so much to me, and I really, really appreciate it. I love just playing these roguelites, and I love the community that we are building on this channel. So if you're going to be grinding out some games of Hadean Tactics, then I wish you guys luck, and see you all next time.